Creating a project schedule using Microsoft Excel. Click File. Then Page Setup. Change the orientation to Landscape. Under the Paper Size box, select Folio. Click OK. Place the cursor at the edge of the selected box. You should see the cursor change. Using the mouse, left click and hold to widen the column. Then, type in as in activities. Place the cursor at the letter B. Using the mouse, left click and hold. Move the cursor to the right until it reaches the letters DL. This is done so that the schedule will be for 23 weeks. You will find that the columns shaded. Click Format, then Columns. Here, select Width. Enter 0.9, then click OK. The columns are smaller now. We will now merge five columns together. The five columns represent the number of days that you may work in a week. Select five cells. The cells will be shaded. Click on the Merge button. Type in AEC1. Now, select cells A2 and A3. Click on the Merge button again. Cells A2 and A3 are now merged. We will now add borders to it. Click the drop-down option of the border button, and select the border shown. Do the same for cells A1 and B1. Select cells B2 and B3. Then, insert the border. Select cells B1, B2 and B3. Place the cursor at the corner of the shaded area. The cursor will change. On the mouse, left click and hold. Drag the mouse to the right. You will find that the number of weeks are updated accordingly and the boxes are shaded at the same time. Continue to do the same till a 23 is seen. Now, select cells A2 until DL3. We will now copy the selected area downwards. The steps mentioned earlier on are repeated. Stop to copy downwards should you find the rows needed are sufficient. You can start typing down the design activities. However, you may find some of the statement may not fit the cell. 
Select the affected cell, then click Format. Click on Cell. Make sure you are at the tab, Alignment. Select Wrap, then OK. The duration taken for each activity is indicated by shading the cells. Remember, each cell represents one day. Think carefully of the numbers of days needed for each activity. To add shades to the cell, select the number of cells required. Click on the drop-down option of the Fill Color button. Select the preferred color. Repeat the steps again for the rest of the activity. Every now and then, you are required to update the project schedule with the actual duration taken to complete each task. Use the same steps that are used to indicate the planned duration of the schedule. The only difference is to the color used. A legend is the symbol to tell readers what the colors represent. Follow the steps shown to create the legends. The project schedule is almost complete. But, you still need to take a look at the preview page and make adjustments. Click on the preview button. You may find that the margins may be too wide. The dotted lines are the margins. To adjust them, place the cursor on the dotted line. The cursor will change. On the mouse, left click and hold. Move the mouse to make the adjustments. However, if you could not see the dotted line, click on the margin button shown to activate it. After adjusting the margins, you may still find that the schedule does not fit into one page. To do so, click on the Setup button. Select a 2. Then, click OK. The project schedule is now complete.